Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. So Sean and I went shopping today. So it is uh, Thursday, December 29. We had to go into uh, Steinbeck, Manitoba to pick up uh, the ashes off Balik and Marble. So we went and picked them up today and we did a little bit of shopping in the afternoon as well. So I'm going to show you is the Dollarama haul right now. We also went thrift store, uh, Canadian Tire, and Walmart. But let's start off with what we got at uh, Dollarama first. Little Max is here because he missed his mama today. All right, what did we buy in this bag, Max? Oh, it's heavy. Can you go, okay, he wants to stay. How about you hold the bag? <laughs> Maybe sit up beside me here. All right, they're not used to me going out, right? So every time I go out, they want uh, they want their mama's attention when she comes home. All right, our first item. Oh, is a detailing brush. It's uh, like for painting, but I purchased it for myself to craft with, and it was three dollars. It looks like we're way far away from you here. All right, we'll just pile the stuff up here. And I picked up this uh, Javax all-purpose brush for $2.50. I'm going to leave this in the bathroom for scrubbing uh, the shower tiles with. That's what that's for. And we always buy this Resolve Spray and Wash because it's really good stain remover. And uh, I believe... It's three fifty. Stain remover three twenty five. So three twenty five for the resolve, or it could be this one. Um, because I like this other crystal white uh, resolve as well. Uh, doo -doo -doo. where is it? Hmm, I don't see it on the receipt here. It's at the bottom. It is at the bottom? At the bottom. Oh, Resolve. $3.50. So this one was $3.50. The spray was $3.25. I needed to grab some more of these little glass uh, jars that I have my spices in. They're the ones that will sit this way or this way. Now, when I did buy the last ones, they came in a three-pack. These they were selling separately today. $1.25 each. I grabbed four of them because uh, we needed them for some of our spices. And what else we got? Oh, so there's four. I got four of them. And we needed some mouse traps because our garage outside, because um, it's not attached to the house, I've seen a few little mice running around. So we are going to set up four traps and catch them. <laughs> yeah Sean saw this uh, French's brown gravy and it was two for a dollar twenty five a dollar twenty five yeah was it that that is a good deal then he says do you need gravy and I said not really but what did I just do with my receipt Max I don't believe it was two for a dollar twenty-five. Oh, the mouse traps were also a dollar twenty-five. Glass jars, a dollar twenty-five. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't see them on here. I'm blind. Oh yeah, it says uh, French sauce, sixty-three cents each. Wow. Two for $1.25, that's a great deal. I grabbed this piece of cotton because, and it's kind of cool because it's Star Wars. It says, um, Jedi Master, do or do not, there is no try. But anyway, it's a, it's a piece of cotton fabric panel. What I'm gonna do with it is line my uh, cover that, that cushiony cover that's in my heat press because I don't want it to get ruined. And I have seen 
um, other people using theirs and they're kind of got burnt marks and that on them so I'm gonna have this cotton under like on top of it before I put what I'm pressing and I think that this is going to help save the lifespan of my padded mat um, cotton fabric so that was four dollars wonder what size it is let's have a look since it's for putting on my machine this looks huge oh wow if you were making a pillow or something with this that'd be a pretty big pillow how tall is that that's what it looks like so I'll just uh, fold it in half um, someone suggested using uh, what did I say cotton felt but I figure a piece of cotton fabric is going to work better. The only Alrighty. felt we could find was made with polyester. Yeah, and polyester is not going in to China. work. In China. Chinese polyester, yeah. We bought two suet for the uh, birds outside. So we always feed our birds. They were $1.25 each. I got uh, the wood slices that I was looking for. I was happy to find them. They were $1.25 for two. So I bought six packs of these. Uh, I'm going to make a wreath with them and these are the ones that I wanted. They are uh, the wood. We seem to be very far away. All right, so we're gonna throw all that back in there. All that generally happens when the camera's on the other side. Of the yeah, that's okay. I'll just leave this sitting here for now. I asked Sean if he wanted a brush for the truck. Uh, the big truck and he said yes so this one uh, was four dollars and it's one of those extension ones like you're gonna pay what ten dollars plus for this at Canadian Tire is it it turns too, right so you see here you can have that or that and Sean will let you see how long it expands to <laughs> do you turn it <laughs> well I don't have my mind in the gutter you do <laughs> this is never in the gutter <laughs> This is how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trying to be serious here. This oh, yeah. is an adult show. Uh, adult show. It's an adult show. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. What's that famous song? Inchworm. Inchworm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both uh, picked out a pure leaf tea. He got raspberry. I got lemon. They're both empty. I believe they were a dollar twenty-five, and then they charged that environmental fee. Oh, these are two dollars each. Two dollars with a three cent environmental fee. Here you go. I'm handing you the stuff. Throw it's it in that other bag. Also good to play with the cat with. <laughs> oh my goodness! Sean picked out some Irish Spring Original Clean Moisturizing Face and Body Wash, twenty-four hours of freshness. It's a 20 flu ounce. You, was it $5? It was. So, I mean, you could probably, if when it's on sale, get it for less than $5 at like Shoppers Drug Mart or Walmart or somewhere like that. We were there. He seen it. He grabbed it. And I'm okay with that. Body wash. Yeah, $5. The ice scraper was $4 if I didn't mention that, which is a really good price. Good, good price. Then I also saw this. It's that Barberware. It's Edge Keeper sharpens edge with every use. And it's a cleaver. It's a six inch cleaver, ladies. Built in knife sharpening patent <laughs> pending. <laughs> uh, I love this. Look at that. All right, it's got a sharpening sleeve. You Let's see, what do we pay for that? The fine print here says endorsed by Elena Bobbitt. <laughs> <laughs> That's going back in time there. Um, Aging myself? Cleaver, $5 for that. $5. All right, getting to the bottom of this. Ooh, I saw some fruit cake and I didn't buy any for Christmas this year, so I bought myself some fruit cake. Sean doesn't like it. No. no, I was telling them uh, in Ireland and like I was my first marriage was in Ireland and we have 
the Irish used fruit cake as the wedding cake. And then you put it away, you freeze it until your first child is born and you take it out again. So I got married in 1987 and, uh, first born child was 1989 and that's when the fruit cake came out again so i personally like fruit cake and i've made it myself for many years and putting some brandy in it but what if it's only me liking it then i just buy it now now this was made in normandy she wasn't talking about the crazy uncle that got a plant the closet there <laughs> <laughs> made in normandy and then it says France, made in France, with fresh eggs, fruit cake, with Provence, Pro, 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 Provence. What? Well, how you say that word? Cherries. Yeah. I'm not a cherry fan, but okay, bring it back. <laughs> we could be here all night, ladies and gents, if Provence you're watching. Cherries. What is it? Provence cherries. Yeah, Provence cherries. cherries. That's what I said. Okay. And it's already sliced perfect. You know, this is nice with a little bit of butter on it, too. My best before is uh, March 31st, 2023. All right. How much did we pay for the fruitcake? Hold, please. Fruitcake, fruitcake, fruitcake. Actually... <laughs> I don't know about here in Canada, but whenever you said someone was a fruit cake, it meant that they were genetically challenged. If that's the way you want to put it, okay. I'd better leave it that way. Two seventy-five, and they still have a lot of that on the shelf. Well, I'll go back to Facebook too. Yes, you will. <laughs> Behave yourself. I always buy one of these little glass uh, peppercorn peppers grinders for two dollars. They are in glass, and I leave this one by the stove for when we're cooking. I've got lots of salt because we use more pepper. We would go through probably four peppers before we would go through one salt, don't we? It's a spice of life. Because we like our pepper. Oh, I found the thrift store receipt here. We were looking for this, so now we have them all. So, uh... It's a good thing that I still have some cat milk left because they only had two left. Trying to wean her off it, but uh, she really loves her cat milk. She's more annoying than Mama Stink. She, <laughs> yes, Mama Stink, uh, uh, Balik, she used to scream at five o'clock every day. Every day she knew it was five o'clock and she wanted her dinner now. And she sounded like a cat. She did. She used to sound like a cat. So now, um, we got a cat that sounds like we a We have a replacement. <laughs> On Onyx is letting us know. So they only had two left. I like to buy it in there because they're only two dollars each. So we'll see how long that lasts, sir. I will probably be going to Winnipeg next week. Um, What's this? And so we will uh, see if Winnipeg has some. I bought these books because these ones are um, 24 sheets. It's a paper pad, but it is cardstock. It's 12 by 12 cardstock for making cards, which um, I've got into because of my friend Kelly. Uh, her channel is Life of a Millwife. And these were $4. I went with the neutrals. So like I said, you get 24 sheets. So to buy this in Michaels is expensive. They've upped their price and also lessened what sheets are in it. This is really nice cardstock because when I'm making the cards, sometimes we need a nice um, solid color for the base and then we decorate so there's some really nice browns and beiges in this one i really like it so i did go with that one that's all the colors on the front and then i went with this one it's got black blues it's got a really nice green and a really nice burgundy and then this kind of orangey color at the end so yeah i will add these to i just love that burgundy I will add these to my cardstock bin. I do have to go to Michael's next week too and buy two more of those little uh, 12 by 12 storage bins for my 
vinyl and for my cardstock. And uh, that is it. So that's everything that we bought at Dollarama today. And our total was $74.60. So yeah, the price, the bill goes up when uh, you start paying $5 an item. But I'm happy with what we got. Are you happy with what we got? Sure. You look like you're going fishing or something. This is my tilly. With your tilly hat on. All right. So we're going to tidy up here and uh, we're going to record another video. So until my next video, take care, everyone. And we'll catch us on the next one. Bye for now. Say bye, Max. <laughs> bye.